Well, Mary, since we visited the gardens, I really wanted you to be able to experience our visitor center as well. The visitor center is a place where our educational programming takes place, our workshops and our classes, and then it also provides a, a great little gift shop for people to visit when maybe it's raining out or maybe it's too cold to be on the trail system. Do private individuals or businesses use the visitor center also? We have a lot of community members that come in and use our visitor center. It's kind of a hot spot because we're central and we're located right smack dab in the middle of town. So we have business meetings that go on. We have people taking um, photos here on the grounds. We have people that rent the facility for weddings and bridal showers and baby showers. So it's really a great community um, centered space for, for Brainerd Baxter. Then do you sponsor community events too that are actually sponsored by the Arboretum? Yeah, so we host a lot of events for our fundraising campaigns. So for example, we have our next event coming up is called the Firefly Festival, and that's gonna be an outdoor music event. And then we have one in the fall that's very focused on Halloween. It's called our Haunted Trail. And then a, a free community event in the spring to celebrate Arbor Day. And that's really where our bread and butter is because we have a ton of kids that show up. We have um, great giveaways and we get people connected with nature. And right at the beginning of our warm weather season in April, that's when you wanna get people outdoors. So uh, it's a great introduction again of what the Arbol has to offer and great public awareness when we're doing these events. It sounds like you do a tremendous job of education here at the Arboretum. Yeah, we actually have a Gardening 101, we call it G101 class for kids today. So if you wanna take a look, we can go join them. That would be great. I'm Dan Lee, I'm the Vice President of the Arboretum and a Crow Wing County Master Gardener. Welcome to our gardens. Well, thank you, this is wonderful to be here. But tell me about the Community Giving Project. Sure. So the Community Giving Project is a project by the Crow Wing County Master Gardeners in conjunction with the Arboretum. And we have several different components to it where we produce local food as well as educational programs for the community. In spring, we have a small team of people who start bedding plants to be used by other components of the garden. We have one group that puts together container um, gardens at, that are donated to local charities or organizations for people that might not otherwise be able to garden. Uh, then we have a group of people who teach Gardening 101 for kids. We then have uh, Gardening 101 for adults and we've got adults from 16 to over 80 years old that are coming out here doing gardening, hands-on gardening themselves. And then we also have a group that come out here and the remaining garden spaces that aren't used, put them into something we call the giving garden where all the produce that is grown is donated to food shelves inside of Crow Wing County. The uh, uh, Salvation Army here in town gets a, quite a bit of the food uh, we also give to the Sharing Bread Soup Kitchen in town that uses the food to produce meals for people. Uh, we donate to WIC here locally in the county, as well as the women's shelter in town. Uh, we also uh, drive food up to Pequot Lakes, to Nisswa, to Emily, to Cross Lake and Garrison. So basically we're sharing the food with all the food shelves across the entire county. Well, it sounds like you do a marvelous job and the work that you do here at the Arboretum is just wonderful. Well, thank you very much. We're proud of it and we're proud of the fact that we can give back to the community. Joe, what do you like about the classes here at the Arboretum? Well, I think it's nice that you get to like plant things and you get to take care of them and you get to do it every Wednesday. And... Have you learned a lot too? But, yeah. What did you grow in your plot here in the garden? Let's see here. Beans, peas, zinnias, carrots. Did, I, did you already mention tomato? No. Yeah. Okay. Did you harvest some of the things today? Yep, I harvest the beans, the tomatoes, and the peas. Oh, you're going to eat well at, the, at your house, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Good job.
I love how involved those kids get in their gardening classes and they're just so excited to get those vegetables picked at the end of the day. Weren't they just amazing? Thank you so much for sharing the kids and the program and your whole beautiful facility with us. Thank you for being here, it was a pleasure.